Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Ali Navarro, nutrition chef with Green Our Planet, and today I'm gonna to make something nice and colorful and refreshing, and that is a garden fruit salad. So stay tuned and learn how to make this. For our first ingredient, you will need two cups of watermelon. Our watermelon is gonna be a good source of vitamin C, so it's gonna be really good for your immune system, immune boosting, keep you nice and healthy, and keep you from getting sick. And if you didn't notice, watermelon has lots of water in it. So it's really hydrating. It contains about 92% of water. That's a lot. So this is something great to have during the warmer weather to stay cool. And I did get a personal size watermelon, so it's a bit smaller. And since I'm making a smaller salad today, I decided to do the two cups today. So I have my two cups of watermelon in here chopped up. They're just small cubes, however you would like to add them into your bowl. So let's move on to our next ingredient. Our second ingredient will be one cup of strawberries. Our strawberry is gonna be a good source of vitamin C and also contains antioxidants, which is gonna protect our body, keep us nice and healthy. And as you can see, I have a whole strawberry here and I just went and cut all my strawberries up. So you want to just remove the little stem up here. You could just pull it off or if you still have some, you can go ahead and grab your knife. Just slice that right off. And we could cut this like this, or you can make them even smaller. I just cut them in half, and I'm gonna grab my bowl and set these together. And so far, we have our watermelon and our strawberries in our bowl. Let's move on to our next ingredient. For our third ingredient, you will need half a red apple and half a green apple. Our apple is going to have a good source of fiber, so it's really going to be really good for your digestive system and keep it nice and healthy and clean. Now, as you can see, this is missing the whole other side of its apple, but I already cut it, a majority of it, and I just wanted to show how I cut my apple. I'm just going to grab this and just slice it. I'm calling this a fruit salad because almost everything in this is a fruit. And do you know how to tell a vegetable from a fruit? If you look, there are seeds inside of the fruit and that's considered a fruit when the seeds are inside. So I'll just cut this into smaller pieces. And this is how I cut mine into small cubes. So I could go ahead and toss them out in there. And I'm gonna grab my apples I chopped up into cubes earlier and toss them into my bowl. Nice and bright. And now that we have those in there, let's move on to our next ingredient. For our fourth ingredient, you will need one cup of grapes. Our grapes are gonna have a good source of vitamin B6, which is good for brain development, and it's also gonna be a good source of vitamin C and antioxidants. I already removed my grapes from the little stem, so I just took them off and I'm gonna toss these in here. So have you ever seen grapes grow in a garden? Do they grow on a tree? Do they grow in garden beds? Or do they grow on a vine? Any guesses? If you said a vine, that is correct. So you'll see grapes growing on vines. All right, now that I have my grapes in there, let's move on to our next ingredient. For our fifth ingredient, you will need one peach. Our peach is gonna be a good source of fiber and vitamin C as well. And I already went ahead and prepared my peach right here in a bowl, but I could show you very quickly how I just kind of cut around it. You have to be very careful. It's not like an apple you can just cut straight down because the seed's a little bit rounder. So you can't really see the seed. Oh, this one's a little bit easier to cut. So as you can see, I'm getting in there and you could kind of see the seed poking out a little bit. And so that's when I said, Whenever you see a fruit, the seeds are gonna be inside. So I went ahead and just cut these and kind of just cut it into cubes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss my peach into my bowl. Go ahead and toss this around. This looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try this. All right. And there is our salad so far. So let's move on to our next ingredient. For our next ingredient, you will need four to six mint leaves. As I mentioned, not all of our ingredients in our salad today are gonna be fruit. So 
once again, it's our mint that is not our fruit. It's considered an herb and it's going to be really calming and soothing for your stomach. And it's known to be used as a flavoring. You can use this in your tea, you can put it in your water, lots of ways to use mint. And it's also found in your toothpaste. I'm going to go ahead and take my leaves off. Need a couple of them. So you can use as many as you would like. Gonna roll these up. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop it into small little tiny pieces. Just know mint is very strong. I don't want to put too much mint into our salad. All right, I could smell it from over here. It smells so good. All right, toss this in there. Just sprinkle it over. I'm gonna toss this up and we're almost done with our fruit salad. Now we're just gonna add a little extra flavoring into it. So let's move on. For our next ingredient, you will need one lemon. I like adding lemon with my fruit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it into our salad here. I'm gonna go ahead and just roll the lemon just to get some juice ready. I'm gonna grab my knife, cut this down the middle. And you can squirt your lemon juice into your bowl right there, or you can use a juicer and that will help capture all the seeds. So I'm gonna use my juicer, just because this lemon has a lot of seeds in here. Got that. And there's that one, and then now we have our juice. So I can use all of this or maybe half of it, but I think I will use all of it because I really like lemon. All right, so let's set that aside and just toss it up one more time. And we're almost done with this. So let's move on. Our last ingredient will be honey. This ingredient is optional, so you could use this or you don't have to. You can replace it with something else. Now I'm gonna use about two tablespoons. I'm just gonna eyeball it straight from the, the jar. So we'll do one and two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this all around just because my fruit may be sweet already, so that honey can help whenever some of your, your fruit may not be too sweet. So this is gonna be so great whenever you go out swimming or just being out in the sun all day. This is gonna be very hydrating to have. I love a fruit salad during the warmer weather. Just to snack on. All right. And there we have our fruit salad. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this super easy recipe. And next time you're out in a garden, look out for some fruit that you can add into your fruit salad. So now that you watch me create this, I challenge you to do the same. But don't forget, be creative, tag us on social media, and I'll see you next time.